in relation to the ongoing investigations into the assaults on peaceful protesters on the 9th of May in Colombo. Secretary to the Ministry of Public Security, Major General Jagat Alvis, arrived at the CID today to record a statement. Last week when Parliament convened, Minister Dr. Ramesh Patrin alleged IGP CD Vikramaratna and Secretary Alvis had facilitated the 9th of May attack on anti-government protesters as they had instructed senior DIG Western Province Deshabandh Tenakun not to fire tear gas and water cannons to disperse SLPP supporters who carried out the attacks. However, the IGP has denied the accusations. After recording a statement for nearly four hours, Major General Alvis left the CID premises in the evening. Shortly after this development, Major General Alvis announced that he would be stepping down from his position as the Secretary to the Ministry of Public Security. His letter of resignation has reportedly been tendered to President Gotabe Rajapaksha. Meanwhile today, the Attorney General has instructed IGP Vikramaratna to transfer senior DIG in charge of Western Province Desha Bandhu Tennakun. The instructions were issued by the AG to prevent any undue interventions in the investigations into the incidents of violence that occurred on 9th of May. In the meantime, investigations have been launched by the CID with regard to the incidents that took place near the Bearer Lake, including assaults and attacking and burning buses. It was reported that the collection of evidence has hit a snag. Most of those subjected to the assault were not residents of Colombo. In more developments, some of the protesters who lodged complaints at the Fort Police Station pertaining to the May 9 assaults were summoned to the CID today. Further, the Trade Union Coordination Centre also arrived at the CID to record statements over the complaints lodged by them with regard to the assaults.